as well. I'm pretty good. Just need to get more of that into me. Um, I just want to show you my cup easels. They are a plein air easel palette. Designed by a young man named Kyle on the west coast of Canada. Um, I found out about them through oak blade palette knives. It's a guy named Ray, again, Canadian. So you can't really hold anything against them. Just nice fellas. So, we'll have a look at this. Oh, look at that. Even if I didn't paint, I'd want one of these. Just for showing off, pretending I'm fancy. Um, so let's have a look. Okay, first things first. It's a good hinge. Yep, it's good and firm, but not stiff. Yeah, that's that's, that's very, very well made. Anyway, cup easels. By Kyle. Yeah. And my version has this little tray, which is held here with a magnet. Pops out. And you can attach it on that side. Or indeed on that side, depending on which side you want it. It's a nice little feature. Yeah. It's for your brushes and your sandwiches, maybe some crisps, some cheese. Definitely cheese. Um, right, so you've got your 12 cups for your paint, no waste, no mess, they're held in with little nipples or dimples or, you know, whatnots in the wood. This is the tempered glass palette I like. Uh, you access this via here, Get these two little bad bitches out. Let's see. Slides out. You can get a watercolor tray, you can get perspex. But I like the glass in case I need to, you know, break it and fight a bear or something. Who knows? What else is there to say? Two little holes here for carbines to hold your terps jar, your brush cleaner, whatever healthy little organic solvent you use so you don't fill your lungs with dirt. I just like terps. Yep, that's pretty nice. Take it off smoothly. A smooth lunch. So yeah, um, this this one starts at two hundred forty dollars. I know he has a six cup version for hundred and dollars, <coughs> and there is a lightweight version I saw, which I think is eighty five dollars on the website, which has five cups smaller. But you know, go big or go home. So that is. My new cup easel. Thanks, Kyle.